Amber, the one real world of which all others, including our own Earth, are but shadows. Hello and welcome to Liam's Lyceum. I'm your host, Liam, aka Ambar. Today I'll be doing a spoiler free review of Roger Zelazny's The Courts of Chaos. Courts of Chaos is a 1978 novel by Roger Zelazny in Book 5 in the Chronicles of Amber. It is 5 of 5 for the Corbin cycle in the original Chronicles of Amber. There is, of course, the sequel trilogy, which is the Merlin cycle, which is another 5 books. I shouldn't have said trilogy there. Oops. Um, accordingly, it is the book with all the answers right there you have gained from Books 1, 2, 3, and 4. The end of Book 4 revealed to us Oberon's hand uh, in more ways than one. It turns out he was alive, after all, and was none other than Ganelon. Deira herself proves a more nuanced character as well. We know Bran is the bad guy and that Dworkin was a rebel from Chaos and um, is the father, actually, of Oberon. The adventures of Corwin are more consistently epic than a couple of the last books. He does take responsibility, uh, like he did a little bit in Book 4, and in a way his ambitions change and, as always, our perceptions of reality are challenged. Family and interesting Arthurian bits tagged into very mundane Earth stuff, um, though we don't go to Earth in this one. We also have some Norse stuff, even some fatalistic philosophy, um, you know, kind of the stuff you've been getting in the previous books anyways. Um, and it is here that Merlin, the protagonist of the second cycle in the Chronicles of Amber, and Corbin's son is introduced. Overall, we have these people from Amber, which is in a way order, uh, but the Amberites are rather chaotic, um, but they do much growing up here, uh, and chaos is not just the same as evil here, and I think looking at this with a psychoanalytic lens would bring a good amount of results. It's obvious from the length of this review, though, that I'm not doing that right now, um, but what, it is interesting because it's mostly, it at, on its surface, it's entertaining, right, and there's definitely more here, and it's, it's good entertaining because it's very different than just about anything else I've read, and it's very remarkable. And if for some reason you're watching this review and you haven't read Nine Princes in Amber, you should. Um, and then, you know, kind of the, the third book was kind of crime-oriented, and the fourth is a thriller, essentially. Uh, the famous reviewer, Raph Blutak, says this last one is in fairy tale form, which I would just trust him on that. So anyways, this is Liam with Liam's Lyceum. I really enjoy this one. I am looking forward to reading the Merlin cycle at some point. Um, I hear almost from everyone that it is not as good as the Corwin cycle, so I'm not entirely sure when I'll get to that, but I am glad to have fin finally finished this, even though it was a few months ago at this point. Um, but glad to have finished this. Zelazny deserves the attention he gets, and for modern readers, he probably deserves more attention, all things considered. And I'm looking forward to reading more by him. In fact, I am right now. Anyways, Liam from Liam's Lyceum. I will catch you next time.